Howdy ho neighboring viewers, we're here today for the next week of the UPBA. As always, I said it like that because I don't know what week it is. There are three weeks left though, which I think makes this week 10. We play JB, we play Lars, and then we play Slightly Salty. So uh, we, have some, we have some obstacles ahead of us. As of right now, I believe we are in uh, fourth place. We need to continue to win and we need Q to lose if we want to get the bye week. As you all know, Stuff is the worst, so if that's one less game I have to play, one less opportunity I have to choke, then I'll take it, dude. So we're going to try to get these, keep these dubs flowing in, you know. Um, we go up against JB this, this time. Good old, the homie, dude. Our fucking, one of our favorite people in the community. Fucking good homie, JB. And this man's got, uh, got a hell of a team. Got a really fun looking team, TBH. Also, um, why are you listening? I am currently five subs away from 250. I don't like to be the dude to sit here and fucking beg every episode for like, please, sir, may I have some more subscribers? It's not me, dude. That's not who I am. I don't, I just, I can never bring myself to go full PokeTuber, dude. You know, that's why my intro so dumb. But uh, today, you know what? I'm feeling it. I'm just trying to get a 250, dude. It, I've been sitting at 240 for like three months. So help a homie out. Let's get to 250. Let's do some dumb stuff. And uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus on making some better content here coming soon, you know. So let's, um, you know, let's get me there and let's see what we can do, you know. But like I said, this week we go up against JB. He's got Lele, Chomp, Scully, Slowbro, PZ, Moltres, Vicavolt, Pangoro, Agron, Avalug, and War Turtle. Every time I say Vicavolt, I think it should be Vicavolt, but Vicavolt just seems to like roll off the tongue better. I don't know. So to start off, we're leading. Uh, we're not leading, but to start off. We are starting with, hey, say starting more, with uh, Dry Skin Heliolisk, Choice Scarf, T-Bolt, Dragon Pulse, Volt Switch, and U-Turn. Uh, T-Bolt just goes so in versus his team, man. His only resist is Vicavolt. His only immunity is Garchomp. Now, obviously we have super effective coverage for Garchomp because we have Dragon Pulse. Who needs Hidden Power Ice, dude? I mean, you can just hit him with the Dragon Pulse, you know? So, that's two shot on Chomp depending on his spread. That should be fine. This, uh... This just does so good versus him, man. A lot of his, uh, a lot of his Pokemon are weak to electric or just special attacks in general. Looking at you, Agron Avalug. But I am expecting some some things to be spadef just because we do have a Spectre on our team, so you always gotta watch out for that. So next we have uh, leftovers, Claydol. Stealth Rock, Earthquake, Teleport, and Rapid Spin. I, I was running a really fun set on this, and in case I want to run it in a later date, I won't say what it was, but we're just going to go Max Spadef. Lele needs to have a switch in. At least I can resist the uh, stab, you know, terrain-boosted psychic attacks. That'll be nice. Whataburg. So, um... This is just, yeah, it's just spadef as hell. Teleport, keep momentum up. We got Rapid Spin on this. We also have Rapid Spin on Blastoise. That's how scared I am of webs. Because his Weber beats a lot of my team, kind of. Like, it beats this, it beats Zapdos, it beats fucking Blastoise, and it beats Crotalant. So if he does bring Vicavolt, I am in huge fucking trouble. I might have to sack one of my two spinners just to be able to spin once. So... If I want to continue to have, you know, uh, a bulky Pokemon, then I will need to have another one, you know? So, you know, we're just going to hope for the fucking best on that one. I didn't think about it too much. I just put it on both, and I'm just now... actually just realized it's on both, so fun. Then, oh, I guess I should mention uh, Earthquake, just because uh, that actually does, like, almost half to Lele. So if it comes in and takes rocks, it is, like, two-shot by the fucking Earthquake, which is kind of insane considering this is 70 base attack, dude, you know? Um, but yeah, Lele's pretty solid. Then we got Meep Meep here with the protective pads, U-turn, Thundee Boy, Kick, Brave Bird, and Bulk Up. Kind of a standard set I've been running just because, uh, in the early game I like to pivot around and then see what his answer to it is, and then on the next turn I can Bulk Up. On the next, you know, go around, I can Bulk Up, I can Thunderous Kick, start lowering defenses, start raising my defense, my attack. And Brave Bird is just super spammable versus the team. His electric, I mean his, uh, his flying resist is that very Vicavolt, which is neutral to, uh, his fighting resist is Vicavolt, which is neutral to flying. His flying resist is Agron, which doesn't want to take kicky boy move. You know what I mean? So that's pretty cool. Also, he can't really defog with Moltres if that's what his uh, 
if that's what his removal is because if he does he's gonna he's gonna pull a mid and then it's just gonna be a whole big thing you know so i'm gonna skip little nuts hex because that's the win con we'll save that for last then we got Rocky helmet blastoise moist here with flip turn toxic crap it's been an ice beam um originally i had dark pulse over rapid spin but i slapped rapid spin back on just because i was like thinking about you know removal and whatnot I don't even know if I just didn't remember it was on Clay Doll or if I was like, I need double spin. But we ended up with double spin, so fuck it, you know? Um, but just keeping up momentum. I like that both of our spinners get momentum. That's really nice, actually. That's a very me thing to both to, for both of them to have, you know? So uh, keeping up momentum is nice. He doesn't have a water immunity, so if I did have fish on this team, it'd be a good day. But Toxic is also extremely spammable versus his team, considering his uh, steel type is an aggron, which doesn't really want to take water moves in the first place. Um, and then Ice Beam just to make sure, like, SD Scale Shot Chomp doesn't get out of hand. SD Scale Shot Chomp looks fucking terrifying, man. Uh, I have to revenge it with, uh, with Cocoa Butter. Or I have to hope I put it in range of Aqua Jet. You know, speaking of Aqua Jet, we got Kawaii Cowboy here with the, uh, with the Life Orb, Adaptability, Knockoff, Hydro Pump, Aqua Jet, and Dragon Dance. This is a fucking set, dude. This is a heck of a set. You got an Avalug. Avalug eats for days like i need a dragon dance up to do almost as much damage as 28 invested hydro pump would do anyways you know what i mean so i didn't really calc for you know putting in the most the most output of damage versus avalug i just put what i didn't need in speed put it in there and that just so happened to two it ko the avalug if it comes in and takes knock off then it dies to hydro pump on the next turn if i'm life orb so we gotta not get knocked off or anything but um, that's, that should, it could put in work, man. Also, if you're wondering what Kawaii Cowboy is, uh, my intro is going to be changing here in the next couple videos. I think it might be next week's episode of this and, uh, it should change. So that'll be fun. Look out for that. It's a good, it's a good song. So last but not least, we have Spectrier, Little Nas Hex with the leftover Substitute, Dark Pole, Shadow Ball, and Disabled, dude. If you haven't seen the thumbnail, well, buddy, here it is. We are modest because we only need speed for, I believe, Sculpede. Um, and Skullipede is a huge threat, by the way. That's one thing in prep that I might just have to sack a versus. And I kind of, if I, if I see Skullipede, I think I have to lead either, uh, either Blastoise or Meep Meep and just kind of stay in and click buttons and hope for the best. You know what I mean? But, uh, Little Nas Hex here absolutely puts in work. His dark type is Pangoro. So, when you have a strong special attacker like this, you usually just see people slap an assault vest on stuff all willy-nilly. But if you look at Pangoro and you look at the six that I brought, really even just my whole team, banded Pangoro absolutely fucks me up. So if he is banded, then we can substitute, take the hit, we will disable, he will be forced out, I can Dark Pulse if I predict, you know, Porygon 2 to come, Porygon Z to come in. If he doesn't bring Porygon Z, I can just spam Shadow Ball. I can click another sub if I want to. I can do whatever I want, dude. The <laughs> the world is my oyster, you know? I think I just had a... Did I just say oyster wrong? What is... Jesus Christ. But, um, that's gonna be the team. I'm really, really excited. I, uh, I think it's actually... See, me and JB have this thing, right, where every other time... I win so we basically take turns winning and if i'm not mistaken he beat me the last time we played so it should be my turn to win but um if little nas hex can go in that would be absolutely amazing if he gets webs up that puts a huge damper on my plans i need to prevent prevent those motherfuckers from going up at all costs um if i can i would like to try to put everything in range of aqua jet if the psychic terrain isn't up which is another thing that i have to worry about and uh if we can like if I don't, if I don't expect a Garchomp lead, I might just lead Heliolisk. And if we do see a potential, like if Garchomp is the only rocker he brings, I might just lead Blastoise again. I don't know. The lead's tough in this particular matchup. I do like our matchup here. We do have some pretty good, uh, pretty good threats versus him. I'm not bringing Darm. I'm not bringing a Selgor. What is going on? Is this even a Sheldon team? You know. But um, yeah, let's do it. Let's get into the battle. Let's get into the battle. Okay, here we are with the battle versus JB. He doesn't bring Scolipede. Oh my god, that makes my job so much fucking easier. He does bring Bro, Pangoro, uh, Chomp, PZ, Table, and Moltres. 
Okay, so... Um... No Lele? What the fuck? There's not... What? The... What? Who? No Lele, no Vicavolt, no War Turtle. Man, I thought we were going to have a don't talk to me or my son ever again kind of match here. Oh. Um, I thought I was going to need Zapdos to be my designated lead versus uh, Scolipede, but that takes so much pressure off of him. That's amazing. Wear protective pads. We aren't going to get flame bodied by Moltres. Um, I'm tempted to just lead Cocoa Butter, but if he just leads Chomp, that is kind of fucky for me. Do I just want to lead Meep Meep? I think we'll just lead Zapdos either way. Um, yeah, we just lead Zapdos. I think that should be fine. Should be fine. Uh, let's see how it goes, you know? We got Mixed Crawdont. We got fucking Scarf Heliolisk. Those are the only two I remember. <laughs> uh, protective Pad Zapdos. Fucking Helmet Blastoise. And uh, Sub Disable Spectre. Because... Like, you gotta bring your Dark Type versus Spectre your team, right? But his Dark Type absolutely fucking destroys one. Oh no, not the long black screen. So he might just bring Banded. Honestly, he could just bring fucking Banded. He leads table. This man leads table. He's not fucking around. Who leads table, you know? You think you know a guy. Um, I do just want a U-turn. Uh, we'll go out into Blastoise. Click us a nice Toxic. Um, nothing on his team takes a Toxic. He probably cooks Toxic versus me. They did a chunk. We get a crit turn one. So that's how this battle's gonna go. I'm sorry, JB. This is not... <laughs> turn one, dude. Fuck. Turn mother heckin' one. Um, he might just... I think he just looks Toxic. But I'd be fine trading Toxic for Toxic on this, honestly. Um, having the Sturdy broken is very, very nice. Very, very nice. He clicks Avalanche, okay. Right in the fucking table. Oh, Avalanche is a contact move. Guess what I learned today, gentlemen? Um, I'm clicking Toxic. If he wants to go out into... Uh, I don't know what he'd go into. Slowbro, maybe? If he goes Slowbro, I'll take fucking Chip on that shit. He does Witch on the table. We got a lot of Chip on that fucking table, dude. Brosif. This is ideal. This is ideal. We go for a big toxic -y boy. So, table was at, like, 70, I think. No, probably more like 80. I'm not good at things, and my fucking HP bar, I, I clicked it too many times. You know when you click it just enough times for it to be off-center? You know? That's what happened. Okay, I don't have Dark Pulse anymore. Um, I can just go for the flip turn. I can't just go for the flip turn. The flippity flip. The old flippity flip. We'll see if he's helmet. He is helmet. Okay. So helmet. Bro. Excellent, excellent information. Um, very, very good information. He could go for... Did he just click psychic here? I don't know. I just don't know. I could go into young kawaii cowboy here. I think that's the play. On a, uh... On hopefully not a body press. He could just go for teleport as well, which would make sense. Just teleport. Yep. Checks out. So he's going to get all his... Uh, all this stuff back. HP is the word. If he goes Pangoro, how fucked am I on a scale of 1 to Mia Khalifa? You know? Oh, it goes table. Oh, dude, you think you go in table versus me? You think you go in table, dude? I got... Should I just click it? Yo, should I just click it? Oh, I want to click it so bad. I'm clicking it. I don't care. I'm clicking it. 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 I clicked it. Just die. Just fucking drop, dude. Just fucking die, dude. Get mother fucking Pydro pumped! <laughs> Avalug dies to crawl. You fucking love to see it, dude. What table? Never met him. Never had anywhere to put my feet when I sat on the couch, you know? 
Uh, that going down opens up uh, nothing, actually. Fun. Okay, so now he brings in Big Pangoro. I lose a Pokemon to this. Straight up. Uh, he might not be faster than me. If I pump again, how much am I doing? Hydro Pump is doing so much, dude. Getting damage off on this is so helpful for, uh... Oh, but he's probably AV, dude. Motherfuck. Um, I think I'm just gonna go into... Let's go into Meep Meep. Crawdon's actually pretty good. Having that Jet late game could be very, very helpful. Um, I'm just gonna go this. If he's, like, banded and he clicks Thunder Punch, I'm shitty at this game. He does go for CC. Thank God. Okay. Hey, buds. Guess what? I think he's banded. Time to play America's favorite game. Is. He. Banded. He is. Fun fact. He fucking is. He fucking is, dude. Um, Brave Bird kills. I think I just go for Thunderous Kick. If he's at minus one, do I kill with Thundy Kick? Uh, we do kill, and this should help me get a big amount of damage on the slow, bro. He does what you d does withdraw, designer. Does with you. Chimkin. Chimkin. Thundy Boy Kick with protective pads. Oh, okay, that was at level 100. I was like, what the fuck? Um, so at minus one, Brave Bird does a large chunk. Um, do I just want to Brave Bird this? I think I'm just going to Brave Bird this. He's at minus one. Come on, Zapdos. Do the damn thing. He doesn't, but it's fine. He doesn't, and that's fine. He does go for the Flamethrower. That'll probably pick us off. Okay, so he does take us out. Zapdos goes down to Moltres. So, um, what do we want to do here? I don't have rocks up. I really wish I had some spikes up this game, dude. Pangoro is going to be super fucking annoying. Um, but since he's banded, I think we can just go out into Lil Nas Hex. He's for sure banded, which is helpful because I can do the uh, I can do the piece of shit thing, you know. Um, so we just click Shadow Ball. We just straight up click Shadow Ball. Don't even worry about a thing. We no longer have a switch into Pangoro, but we didn't once it took the first one anyway. So fuck it. Oh, he's just gonna let it go down. Okay. So. Moltres goes down to horse, which I do mark down on my paper as PBH, and then, like, just depending on how I'm feeling, it's between, you know, three and seven H's, usually, I think is, and it's a valid estimate, I think. There's designer. Uh, we click sub. We definitely click sub. If he's parting shot, um, that makes us a little more annoying. He does click knockoff. If he predicts the disable, uh, that's just a good play. If he predicts the disable, that's just a good play. Maybe he won't? That'd be cool if he didn't. Be very nice of him if he did not. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. We could Dark Pulse now because he has to go into PZ, right? He has to. That's his only thing. That's like his only thing he can go into. Um, so this is how you, so if, if you were ever wondering, like, how to beat a dark type with your Spectrier, it's, you gotta do, you gotta be kind of a real piece of shit, TBH. You gotta kinda, you know. Okay. 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 
Okay, so if he's Choice Scarf, he doesn't kill me. Um, we just click Dark Pulse again. Nice. Uh, PZ goes down to Horse. This time I'm putting about 4 H's just because I feel good about it, you know? Um, does this win? I think this might win. He can't lock into it. Like, he cannot lock into something, you know? Do you even bother? He goes into Chomper. Uh, this could be Scarf Chomp. This could be Scarf Chomp. Um, does Scarf Chomp kill me? Does Scarf Chomp kill me? Um, it does have a chance. Is it worth my boosts? Um, do I deal with fucking... I'm clicking it, dude. This is fucking... I'm at plus two right now. Oh, he goes for Outrage. Jolly golly gee fucking Willikers, dude. I live! Holy fuck! Nice. Chomp goes down to mother fucking Spectrier. I wrote spec that time. Let me cross that out and write P, B, H, H, H. That's three what I did four last time. We'll give it about, I think eight H's seems necessary for this. So he can go out into the Pangora and click Bullet Punch if he has it. But if he does click Bullet Punch, that gives me uh, all kinds of fucking offensive momentum. So I'm just going to click Shadow Ball this time. I didn't even see if I had enough to make a sub. I just fucking, we just clicking it, boys. We just clicking it, you know? Sub disable Spectre, putting in all the work. What if this just dies? What if it just dies? God damn, that did a lot, dude. Holy shit. Um, that did so much. That did so much. Uh, Spectre goes down to Pangoro. I don't want to hear any fucking Spectre or slander on the TL anymore, dude. You can make it work. You just gotta be fucking a little bit dumb. And you can make it work. Uh, Helio should clean up here. His team already hated switching into uh, electrics. And this is that. <laughs> this is those, you know. T-Bolt on the Pangoro. Um, if Slowbro lives, we kill with Crawdon anyways. Dude, he's going to be so mad at me for running this piece of shit set. I guarantee... Okay, look. I'll, I'll try to put it on the screen, but I guarantee you the first message he, send me, he sends me is going to be in all caps. It's not going to be GG. It's not going to be holy shit. It's going to be fuck you or something along those lines in all caps, you know? Uh, we played this game without hazards too, which I told myself could not happen or we wouldn't be able to beat him. Uh, if he has body press, he can potentially kill us here. Slowbro thick as hell, huh? He just has psychic. Okay. Okay, cool. Blastoise doesn't need a passive KO. What I need is another Helioless KO, because that man got four last last game. Uh, so Bro goes down to Helio. Horse picked up three, dude. Horse picked up three. I refuse for there to be any fucking Spectre or Slander on my TL ever again. Um, JB did mention ahead of time this was my turn to win. So, I mean, we kind of knew this was going to happen anyways. We take If y'all haven't noticed by now, we take turns winning games. So that's just how it goes usually, you know? Um, let me see here. Uh, what was, uh, Crawdont with Hydro Pump was fucking dope, dude. That shit killed the table from like 60%. That is insane. Crawdont helped so much breaking early. Having Crawdont break early made it to where like, I didn't have to worry about, uh, you know, well, I guess I, I was going to say it made, made me not have to worry about fucking having Blastoise in because I had to, he got to recover every time Blastoise came in basically, but he always had helmet bro in the back anyway so i was always taking shit but wasn't ever gonna be like that great but crawdot put in fucking work he brought banded pangoro and y'all you heard me in the beginning i was like this could be banded pangoro and this could ruin my entire day so uh thank god he wasn't av you know shout outs to fucking <laughs> banded pangoro coming in it did fuck me though like you can see you, the matchup dude it got a kill every time so um yeah man great great game to jb it was my turn so suck it uh <laughs> Um, like subscribe do all that bullshit i'll see you guys next week uh we're i think we're in third place now so uh suck it q bye forever
let me move all my things over to my good screen and I'll deafen or undeafen. Loudon, I think is what it's called. <gasps> Yo, he said GG's homie, that's a good ass horse. He didn't hate me for it. What a guy, dude. What a guy this JB Westside guy is. Absolute fucking champ. Turn you off. Turn you off? Okay. It's kind of, I, in fact, I'm, I'm dying more when I do it. Like, I'm, I'm probably quieter because I hate it. Yeah, you were throwing well, in, like, left and right up in that outro. Jesus Christ. So what do you